We must seek out and support candidates for office who understand the Constitution, who understand America, who understand and agree with the ideals, the values, and the principles which have made this nation the greatest nation on earth. We must work to increase our voices from the 5,000 here tonight to 50,000, to 500,000, to 5 million, to 50 million Americans demanding that this cancer be removed, demanding that it be stopped dead in its tracks. And then, and then, we must return these America-hating leftists back to history's dustbin of discarded and discredited ideas of failure once and for all. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln understood that the fallen in the Civil War did not die in vain. And yet he knew as well that they did not sacrifice merely for some abstract cause. As he told us in his address in that most hallowed ground at Gettysburg, they gave their last full measure of devotion so that others might see a new birth of freedom and so that this nation, conceived in liberty, would not perish from this earth. Let us resolve today that a new seed of liberty has been planted in the American soul a seed which on this day has taken root and spread to cities and towns across this land from ocean to ocean. A seed which will grow into a mighty oak of freedom and let it be remembered. <laughs> let it be remembered for generations to come that when this nation teetered on the edge, when freedom and liberty were in their gravest peril, in the hour that mattered most, we found our voice, we found our courage, we answered freedom's call, and on this day, we turned the tide. God bless America.